Hello and welcome. Uh, finally, uh, Greece is the word. <laughs> Today I'll be talking about uh, old greases and mounting pastes, what they are and what each is good for. So, without further ado, let us begin. I'll start with oils. We use oils for lubricating and they are liquid. And they are oils of different uh, com complexion or, or in ingredients, but generally for bicycle use, it's mostly, uh, it mostly boils down to their viscosity, that is how thick they are. Uh, lower viscosity means they are very easy to drip. I'll try to show this one now. This one is very low viscosity oil and it's almost like water. There it is. So the lower the viscosity, generally speaking, the less dirt it attracts, the more easily it flows between all the parts that you wish to lubricate but also it more easily flows out and gets flushed out by rain. We have more viscous oils like this one. This one is thicker. I'm not sure if it's visible in camera, but it is thicker. And this one will attract more dust and dirt, but will be a bit more difficult to wash out. And then we have greases. Grease is like a sort of a thickener that keeps oil suspended in, inside of it. And so it's semi-hard. There are different hardnesses of grease and similar. And the, difference, the main difference between oils and greases is that grease is like a more permanent once you apply it. But it's more difficult to apply. You have to apply it directly. While for oil, you can drip it and let it flow. So depending on what you are lubricating, one is better than the other. I'll make maybe, if I don't forget, a separate video explaining which parts of bicycle are better suited to be lubricated with uh, oil and which with grease. But those are the basic differences. And I have made a very detailed article about oils and greases. I'll make them pop up in the top right corner and uh, maybe put them in the video description. Now about mounting pastes. What mounting pastes are? They are often called uh, anti-seize pastes, but it's not the same. Those are two properties. Uh, mounting paste means that it is used when you're mounting something to make sure that it all slides easily, so I can apply it to, to threads before I screw something on, like this nut. So that is the, the principle. And some, many, but not all, mounting pastes also uh, have the property to provide uh, anti-seize properties and that is to prevent parts from getting stuck or rusted together either through Gavani corrosion or otherwise. How it achieves that is by having some small hard particles suspended in a mixture of basically grease and uh, some other parts. And those parts that are suspended uh, will remain even when all the oil uh, held in the grease and in that mixture gets uh, dripped out over, over months or years and that allows it, uh, those particles are very soft and uh, when they are left there, they provide some, uh, how do I say, they prevent water from entering so it's less, uh, more difficult for us to start uh, starting or galvanic corrosion. They also provide a bit of in insulation to prevent galvanic corrosion and uh, they make it easier to unscrew because they are softer than steel and that allows it to, when you need to unscrew something to easily unscrew it. For example, there are different types of mounting and anti-seize pastes. This one is based on kaolin, like a sort of a clay and uh, titanium oxide and it's white and it's very easy to wipe on and wipe off. So, and it looks nice because it's nice and white, not like this one. So that's why I prefer it and other properties are not really important when you talk about bicycles because there we don't face any huge amounts of torque, pressure or, or temperature or anything. So whichever mounting paste you like, it's generally good as long as it's of good quality. I also have a detailed article about mounting paste. If I don't forget, I'll make it pop up in your top right corner. Now, this one is called uh, copper grease often. It's also anti-seize mounting paste and it's a lot more difficult to wipe off. It's a bit thicker and it looks like a rust <laughs> when you apply it. So it doesn't look very nice, but it's very efficient and very good, very good quality. 
So for this one, this is made by a local company, Serbian called FAMOL, F-A-M-O-L. The model is PT2. Let me double check. Here it is, FAMOL PT. I'm not sure if it's available abroad and I'm not sure what the equivalent is, but this one's worked very well for me. And it's, uh, mounting pastes are more expensive than greases. This one costs for this bucket of almost one kilogram, it costs about uh, 40 to 50 dollars, but it lasts a lot of a long time. So in my opinion, it's good and you can get a smaller package, but I think that mounting paste, okay, now when to use mounting pastes. Mounting paste should be used whenever you are screwing something in, mounting something. I like to smear it on the face of the nuts when I'm tightening something to make sure that you evenly apply torque that there's nothing gets stuck and to make it sure that you can easily unscrew it when you need to. So there's no rusting together. So I apply that for, for that I use anti-seize. While grease is used for lubricating stuff that moves, so bearings and all. You should never use anti-seize on bearings, just like you should not use grease instead of mounting paste for mounting uh, bolts, seat posts, stems and so on. Many people swear by grease, but in my experience and opinion, grease does not provide the long-term protection from seizing, but anti-seize mounting pastes do. So I very much prefer those and I use them on pedal threads, on stems, on all sorts of nuts and bolts and, and everything, wherever there's no movement where I need really lubrication. And in that case, I use grease or oil depending on the, on the application. So that's it. Finally, a video, hope a short one, explaining the, what I'm using. <laughs> and thank you very much for watching. Cheers. I almost forgot <laughs> WD-40. Uh, company WD-40 ma makes a huge range of different lubricants. So only because you see WD-40, it doesn't mean it is the, the original <laughs> WD-40 that we mean when we say WD-40. Okay, so they make some good lubricants and everything, but when I'm talking about uh, WD-40 as a multi-use water displacement, whatever, that is a very fine, a very weak lubricant that can be used uh, in a pinch when you don't have anything better, but there are better lubricants if you want to lubricate something that lasts longer without attracting too much dirt, like this, for example. This is quite good. I get 10% of everyone sold, as always. There are better degreasers, cleaners, uh, rust removers. So this is like a, a good to have <laughs> in a pinch. It's good for, uh, for lubricating uh, locks to not freeze in the winter. But for all other uses, I prefer to use separate different products. And this is generally not a very good lubricant in itself. It has very small amount of lubricant inside of it. So that's a common mistake and I almost forgot to mention that it's, it's a brilliant thing to have. I use it a lot, but not uh, as a lubricant whenever I can use a proper lubricant. It's just good thing to have in your toolbox. So I hope I've explained properly. So now it's finally it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers.